right, here's a nice fish, the pick pike that was caught in our lake. And uh, my husband's starting to fillet it. It's uh, about a four pound and some pike in the uh, mid-March. So the water's really cold and it's going to be a yummy supper treat. That's for sure. But he's going to show you how he fillets his fish so that there are no bones. So as you can see, he did two slices on each side. And then he, now he's cutting across the top, right across the top where the Y bone, is, it's the Y bone, isn't it? Yep. Is, is at the top and he's taking that out. Eventually when he takes the skin off of that and slices it in half, it'll be what we call fish fingers. So that leaves the rest of the two sides of the pike open so that uh, it's a little messy here of course you're playing with newspaper and he's got to flip the fish around so that he can start at it so here I'll try to get in a little closer so you can see the cuts that he's making here you see how he just went gently across the top so he could feel the bones that were there and now he's just slicing in as he's going through. And if you listen, sometimes you can hear the knife slicing through some of the bones itself. So as you see he's lifting, lifting the piece of meat up as he's going into it. And you can see the bones if you look closely. This way, it eliminates having any bones in the fillet. You now he starts at the end, goes across the back fin, right across, right through, as you can see the knife poking through, all the way through. And he's going to bring it right to the tail, but it won't cut through yet. Because he uses that for when filleting the skin off. So now he's going to go through the side and have that full piece of meat flipped back. You can see, I think that fish had, uh, is that, uh, are those eggs? That's eggs. Boy, lots of eggs. So if you like caviar, you can have pike caviar. I used to love that when I was little. My mom would fix it with a little butter and fry them up. And they were just delicious. There we go. He's getting deeper into it, trying to avoid all the, the bones. bones. Okay, so now that piece is finally free. And he's just flipping it in a way now so that he can take the, the skin off. All right, so let's see how... Now you see he started at the tail end when he didn't cut through. So he just cuts until he's at the skin so that he can run along the skin e edge and slide his knife right through and leave only the skin behind. Now, not all fish get to be cut in this way, just the, the pike. Is the pickerel the same? Yeah, I do it pretty much the same way. Okay, and the pickerel is about the same, but some fish because of the way the bones are uh, grow inside, you can't all do them in this fashion. As you see, is just sliding that knife close to the 
pushing down on it against the skin and is going to have a beautiful piece of fillet fish coming out of this in just a few more seconds. There we go. And wow, there it is. Look at this. Yum, yum, yum. Guess what we're having for supper? There's enough it, with this one four pound fish here to feed at least three to four people. So I guess that's going to be a couple meals for us. Lucky us.